Alright, welcome back into Unity guys. Um, for the past few videos we've been in Maya setting up our models but in this video we're just going to put them in our scene and set up the lighting and um, the textures and finish off with the bit of detail and some particle effects if we've got time. So, um, right, I've just put my models into prefabs here so I'm just going to drag them on into the scene. Let's just put them in place to start with. Um, so that's our bench. Uh, we've got our little character here. We're going to just put him on the bench as well. I should have done something about my pivot points, but never mind. <laughs> Doesn't really matter in this case. Uh, so let's just put him on the bench like that. He's really sad on sitting on the bench by himself. So this is the fun part, guys. Getting everything you've made, putting it into a scene. Um, and here's our lamp. So I'm just going to get all three objects and just kind of put them in the right place. Kind of like that. So, uh, And I want the lamp to be nearer to the tree. Um, kind of that. I'm not going to fiddle about it for too long. All right, so um, that looks all right. I think that's our little scene. Uh, let's put some materials on there. I'm just going to make some materials, guys. Put them here so you can see them. Uh, let's call this one character. Let's create another material bench and one more, guys. Uh, um, lamp structure. I lied, there's one more. Um, <laughs> lamp light. Alright, so I've put an underscore here so they become at the top of our list. Uh, for our bench, we're going to use this texture here. Just diffuse, that's fine. Drag it on. Um, all your imported models um, have already have the UVs you uh, we made in Maya, so they store all the UV data in in uh, Unity. Just drag it the texture on and it'll turn out fine. So that bench looks fine. Um, for the character, Let's just drag this on first. Um, if we make him black and turn on our light, turn on our lights, it kind of looks a bit unrealistic. So instead, let's just kind of make a dark grayish color so we can see a little bit of the character. <laughs> All right, so um, let's turn the lights off again. And I think that lamp's being hidden by the tree too much. So let's just move it in a bit, a bit more. That I do. I'm not too right about it. So this lamp is two objects, guys. The lamp, the light itself, and the structure. So in the structure, which is this material here, let's drag on our uh, metals. Let's make the color kind of grayish. I don't know, like just like that for a bit. And let's just drag it onto our structure. Boom! All the UVs are there. So I've got the scratch metal here, and this kind of rusted metal at the top. So that looks pretty nice. Um, and for the lamp light, let's just change this to a self-illumine and a diffuse. It's just a white, kind of a light white thing going on. Um, yeah, that's right. I'm not going to deal with this. I'm just going to drag it on the light. So it looks like it's lighting up now. So um, we're not done with this object yet. We need to add a component, uh, rendering, and a light. A point light's fine. And as you can see, it's kind of starting to work already. Let's raise the intensity a bit. I want it to produce soft shadows, so as you can see the shadows are there. Let's increase the range so we can see the shadow of our character. There we go, it looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Um, so as you can see, only half of the light is showing, so because the, the the structure of the lamp and the light itself is blocking the, the light from projecting, so we just need to get these two objects and um, we don't want them to cast shadows. Uh, they can receive, let's see if they can receive shadows, let's do the same here. There you go. Um, now they're not blocking the light, so we can see all around. That's pretty important. So that's that. Um, can we make it a bit nicer? Make the range a bit less, for example. So uh, yeah, that looks nice. And as we move the objects, the shadows totally change, so you can tweak it how you want. That looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Um, so there you go, guys. Can save this out now. Uh, what's next? Um, I just want to add a bit of detail to the tree, so I'm just going to put in a, a plane if I can find it. Um, uh, plane, that's the one. Bit of a brain freeze there. So I'm going to make two more materials. Um, tree leaves uh, green, for example, and another one. Tree leaves uh, brown. Say that. 
for the for both of these I'm going to put my texture here I imported these two before the video I imported the tree leaves and this tree branch so for the trees brown stick the leaves in same for the green oops try again so for the green guys I'm just going to put this kind of like a green color like that and try to make it a transparent diffuse so as you can see it looks pretty nice let's do the same for this one but make it brown instead this is a really nice trick to add more detail to your scene so transparent uh, planes transparent diffuse that's alright I think and for the green let's just stick it on here alright let's put it into place so the, the leaves have been falling from the tree for a while um, let's just say that so it's standing out a bit it's meant to be a lonely a sad lonely scene I don't want these to be too bright so I'm just going to put the transparency down a bit make them a bit darker alright so let's just call these um, leaves green let's duplicate it let's call this one leaves brown we're just going to replace the material so um, you could drag it on here and we want this the green to appear above the brown because they fall um, on top of the dead ones um, just for the brown I'm just going to make this a bit lighter so they don't stand out and I'm just going to rotate it a bit make it look a bit more random alright guys so simple as that looks a lot nicer now looks a bit more natural the leaves have been falling down and the last thing let's make another plane let's make it a bit smaller and I'm going to just put the tree branch on here so that's just going to drag it on this time um, let's make a transparent diffuse again so I haven't cut this out very well there's a bit of white here and stuff it doesn't look that good so I'm just going to make this into kind of a dark green make this make the transparency go down a bit let's shape it in the right way so let's bring this in a bit let's rotate it a bit and then just bring it down way too big just make it a bit smaller alright guys so there you go the branch has fallen down <laughs> as well <laughs> Um, let's name this um, tree branch again let's rotate it a bit a bit random so um, alright guys so it's a really nice trick to add detail to your scene so that's that so so the last thing I want to do is make a um, particle effect I just want to uh, create some particles to flow down here very slowly just to add the extra feel to the scene so um, Let's do that now. Let's add another game object and a particle system. Straight away, it doesn't look nothing like I want it to. So uh, let's edit some values. Um, let's let's loop it. Let's pre-warm it so it looks more natural to start with. Uh, the start speed. That's way too fast. I want to make it like 0 0.05 or something. Um, the start five again. It's too big. These little particles are going to be 0 0.3 or something like that. Um, Da, da, da. the gravity um, 0 0.1 actually so it goes down very slowly um, I think that's all we need to do for this bit and straight away guys look at this it's, it looks pretty natural already just need to make it a bit bigger so let's change the shape a bit um, let's make it a box let's make it like I don't know 30 by 30 by 20 or something oh, pretty good guess um, <laughs> let's bring it down a bit does it cover the whole scene? no so let's just um, kind of put it into the scene and that is all I wanted to do really um, looks really nice so let's just go to the emission let's change the range to like 20 to make things a bit nicer or actually 15 change of mind um, <laughs> alright so let's just double check everything um, get rid of this curves thing we don't want it to cast shadows, we don't want it to receive shadows um, just to save a bit of memory and stuff um, and that's it guys the last thing I want to do is line up my camera so I'm just going to put it here I think this is a really nice angle so so let's just go to um, a game object and uh, let's select the camera to begin with actually uh, the main camera so it's here at the moment so if I play the level yeah it doesn't look very good so here's the camera game object um, 
align with view. So there we go, guys. The camera's in the right position now. Really good trick. Uh, so let's play the let's play the scene. Uh, we've pre pre warmed the particles, so they're kind of like already falling, and that looks really nice. So uh, I'm really happy with that. Um, I think I'll end the video here before I mess it up. So. In this video we've imported our objects, put the textures on, we've fiddled about the light, made the shadows look pretty cool, and we've added some detail to the tree. Alright guys, so I think this is the end of the project now. It looks really nice. Um, in the next videos I'll probably, da -da -da, if I go through my thing, I'm really into this like alternative world thing going on with my desktop, so I'll probably do something like that, just make an alternative world kind of thing. I might make a little bit of gameplay and stuff. So. Um, that's that. Uh, I've almost finished the CSS course, guys, and stuff. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I'm happy we finally finished this. It was quite a lot of my work, I have to admit. Um, so thanks a lot for watching. If you're interested in this, if you want to know anything more, um, send me a message. I'll be more than happy to help you with anything. Uh, that's what I want to do, guys, help you out with this stuff. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hopefully see you in the next video. So thanks a lot, guys.